It's Cake. And Whimsy. And we are at the Highland Games in Scotland, Connecticut. Scotland, Connecticut. What a thing, right? The perfect place for <laughs> Highland Games. It'd be a shame if they didn't have them. Right. So we're going to see what they have here. It looks like a small little festival. Uh, behind us, they're practicing uh, stone throw, actually. So if you hear any grunting, that's what all that's about. Come see what's up. Stone toss. One of, one of the highly traditional games. I like I like all the different techniques they have in doing this. Ooh, that was a huge one. Nice. Well done. That last guy looked like he was falling asleep on it before he threw it. This this guy was definitely uh, in it for them. In it for the toss. All right, I want to see this guy too. He looks like he's an expert stone tosser. I want to see his technique. <laughs> It looks like a really old giant potato. I mean, I, I kind of, there's something to be said about a set of games that is, uh... So you tuck it into your cheek. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's like you're your talking on like your you cell phone. Like you're talking on your cell phone. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Uh, there's something to be said about games based on, you know, things you can find in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... In just this little area, there's three different stone throw sections, which I guess you don't need a whole lot of space for, because, you know. And those ladders, I assume, are going to be for the haggis toss later. Right, exactly. And uh, Jess just saw someone warming up for the, uh, for the hammer a throw. hammer throw, maybe? Yeah, that or he just really liked his hammer. <laughs> he didn't just, have a hammer just, in his hand. <laughs> are you sure? Maybe he was spinning. <laughs> He's just twirling. <laughs> is, is, is ballet one of the competitions here? Oh, someone's twirling, getting ready yes. to throw. Again, talking on the cell phone. <laughs> Ooh, that was a, quite a spin on that one. I think the, the yelling helps. I think so. It's like a well, Kia. Not even joking. I really think that helps. It's like a Kia, right? <laughs> Again, the poor people who are like holding the measuring stuff, I would be so scared. <laughs> Is this a bring your own stone no. competition? <laughs> or now, do they have to buy stones that are approved for this? Or can you just weigh in a stone? Jess? Right. So Dan. Why don't you tell us what a Scottish egg is? Ooh, a Scotch egg, you mean. A Scotch egg, it's yes. Different. Sorry. A Scottish egg is that an egg from Scotland. I, no. You know, it's not my culture, so I'm, I'm supposed to make some mistakes. A Scotch egg is a hard-boiled egg that's wrapped in um, sausage and then seasoned and everything and then coated in either batter or breading and then deep fried. Oh. It's delicious. Would it be acceptable to add bacon or something to that as well? Yes. Okay. I'm guessing this is a demonstration of sheep herding. Sheep herding. Oh, here we go. Herd those sheep. Here we go. Here we go. Worry them, puppy. <laughs> Worry them. Sheep worrying. It's well trained. I like how they just sit right down. Right? In the bed of the truck. They, they wandered away a little bit. I, I was getting them. Now we're at the clan village where all of the clans are gathered up with their little booths to say, hey, are you one of us? Cool. <laughs> you should come to our next gathering. This is our tartan. You want to join the club? <laughs> cool. <laughs> we're going to check and see if there is clan McLean or, or Gillian. clan Gillian here or maybe even clan McDonald. I see clan McGillivray. Oh, there you go. For for my McGillivray uh, family. McGillivray peeps? Yep. I mean, I'm pretty sure they already knew that. They're probably here sometime today, but... <laughs> <laughs> Clan Armstrong has a, a quite a fine arms display here today. Okay, we are at the Clan Donald uh, tent here, and I think Jess just found something. <laughs> All right. That's the McDonald's of Glencoe. Yeah, All right. that's half of my family. So we're in the right place here. <laughs> Here's Jess in front of her clan banner. Hey Jess, shortbread cookies. <laughs> this might be the first and earliest warning of don't mess with cats. So 
We found our first connection yet to the McLeans of Mole. Hey look, over here we've got Clan Shaw, Jess. You mentioned something about that? Yeah, my mom's mom. Her maiden name is Shaw. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I have so many of them around here. McLean, McDonald, Shaw. Like this <laughs> is Remember it. my DNA test? This is why. <laughs> Scottish country dance. And it looks like there's a band about to start playing over here as well, but we're gonna move on. Winnie the Pooh and House of Gordon 2. Okay, we just stumbled upon the kids' caber toss. I'm guessing maybe teens? What's that? I'm guessing maybe teens? No, it's a, it's a lightweight foam thing. It's probably kids. Ah, okay. Here we go. That is fun. Like, practice to get the form and the motion. And now we are at Vendor Field. The field of money. <laughs> <laughs> So here we've got all the clothing and accessories for every clan and most of the clans. It's pretty cool. And the uh, scarfs and, and the kilts. The wee hoose of supplies. That's the wee hoose. Look at these guys. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah. <coughs> all the hats. Jess found a friend. He's so cute. Adorable. Look at you, little guy. Look at his little tattoo. Oh my god, he's got ink. And Nessie. <laughs> Make it yell, Jess. Make it yell. Ew. Me. <laughs> he's like Terry Cloth. I think he is. All right, so he's so he's bath safe. Right. Somebody bought the shoes. No. <laughs> okay. These tweed bags are just amazing. They really are. I want Je them all. Jess is drooling. She found a little briefcase kind of computer bag that was tweed. and So pretty. It's going to take all her strength to leave it here. <laughs> Jess just lost her mind. Oh my god. So cute. <laughs> These are some adorable uh, footstools, right? Right, I love them. I want them all. Those look great in our house at Christmas. You'll never guess what we're zeroing in on. Woof! <laughs> look at that. Super fun. It's adorable. You look so Scottish. Oh my god. I mean, you could fool anyone. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> oh look, Dan. It's Clan Stark. <laughs> That's gonna be a while before they're ready. Yeah. So what are we watching here, Jess? Uh, people hitting each other with swords. And? And people See, in kills. Rapiers and... Mangoes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes I prompt you because I forget the words, Jess. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes, remember your French, Dan. And sometimes I just want to, you know, put you on uh, on narration. Just remember your French. So, Gauche meaning left. <laughs> so, pretty soon we're going to see the uh, the berserker come out, right? <laughs> it's going to be a bloodthirsty roar, and there's going to be blood everywhere. Sure. That, that seems right. That's how this works, right? I got a bone to pick with you, Jess. What? We Are we or are we not at a Scottish festival? Yes. Stop stealing my culture. <laughs> That's mine, not yours. <laughs> so this tent holds their performing stage for some of their troubadours. That's right, I'm calling them troubadours, Jess. And as we get closer, I'll be able to film less and less of it because of copyright. And another musical performance in front here a little bit. So <laughs> Jess just grabbed her little purchase. Look at that. By the way, we haven't even we haven't even seen what Jess is wearing today. A jacket. A jacket. Not just a jacket though, her cool brown fall a leather jacket. jacket. Ooh, got from the Brimfield Fair. <laughs> Does that mean we get to tag them in this uh, video? <laughs> and get a million subscribers again. You guys love Brookfield. <laughs> <laughs>
look, our boys are at it again. They have an they have an arsenal. We've seen them fight now with sabers, pole arms, pole arms. Right here, mangoes. Yep. With that long sword. Uh, they got long sword out right now. Yeah. Ooh. Sticky hand. I like the festive green gambeson though. Right? With all the little metal rivets in it. Mm. I like the violins we're seeing here. This is good. This is <laughs> this is it's looking very very festively violent. Ooh. Okay, that looks pretty heavy. It is. <laughs> so all the things you toss are heavy. None of them also, are just if it's a, high, a Scottish game or a Highland game, you can be sure you're just throwing something. Okay. You're just throwing different things of varying weights and sizes. All heavy though, right? You don't yes. like throw any light thing and see how far no, you can go. There's no. no trick shot or dexterity no, I challenge. Think, I think possibly the haggis toss is the closest thing to a dexterity challenge because you have to like use a pitchfork and get it up over a bar. Oh, they have the, the whole woman's uh, division is on the other side over there. Where nobody can go to watch it. You kind of, no. It's fed stuff. You really can't. Holy cow. Jeez. Okay. Okay, I just compared both shots, this guy's and that one's. Uh -huh. And she threw it much further. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you guys are used to having to take little children and throw them across big rivers. So, you know, that's a mother's duty in Scotland is to throw your child up to the ledge so they don't fall. Actually, fun story, the way haggis came about was because it was a lunch that you could make and throw across to your husband or whoever um, <laughs> for lunch. Did he catch it with a pitchfork? I don't know where the pitchfork came in, but... Okay, sure. But haggis was yeah. a thrown meal. Oh. <laughs> it's like its own little lunch a box. A thrown meal. <laughs> To go stomach. <laughs> it's a stomach upholding. <clears throat> that's a, uh, that's a, uh, I mean, you might as well have use for, for that part of the cow, I guess. Ooh, jeez. Okay. I don't know if you just noticed that. But this thing landed like a foot from the guy who's I, marking this thing, and he just stood there and watched it happen. I don't think it was a foot. I think it was like inches. Like, oh my God. That is nerves of steel right there. That's what we are, Dan. Unafraid to die? Apparently. <laughs> Is that a good trait? I don't think so. Is there any of this we're going to be able to salvage? <laughs> Oof. Oh. That was a good one. Oh, that one was a round one on the other side. See, this kind of yelling is what I was hoping for from the fighters earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our way out. But I just wanted to show you kind of quickly, this is very well attended for being a small Highland Festival in a pretty small section of northeastern Connecticut. These, those cars go all the way back there and around. This is just one of the parking areas. And then in addition to that, they have shuttle parking uh, where they'll bring you in from the, the main town parking areas and on a bus. So, lots of people here today. We're back. Yay! So that was fun. That was a nice little Highland Games. That's very close to our house, which was super convenient. About 20 minutes in the northeast corner of Connecticut. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller. I looked at the map on the website first. <laughs> that, that makes a lot of sense. So what was your favorite part? My new hat. What? So funny story, we were, there were some actual Scottish people there <laughs> and some imposters, including the Irish guy in the booth selling her hats, which are handmade in Scotland, <laughs> who was admiring my hat, which is handmade in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> what? And clearly thinking to himself, what is this Scottish girl doing with this Irish boy? <laughs> 
There was a whole micmac situation going on there. It's very weird. <laughs> But we had a fun time. It was. We'll definitely be back. Uh, it's only one day, mm -hmm. so if you're not there today, you've missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but every, I think it's every Columbus Day usually, or every, excuse me, every Columbus Day weekend. Yeah, on, that on Sunday. Sunday, I believe. Uh, so take some time out. Uh, you had mentioned uh, some stuff. So it's one of those events that's really good because so many people, it doesn't really matter what you're interested in. We have music competitions there, there's dancing competitions, there's throwing stuff competitions. I mean, you know, feats all, of strength. All the stuff. <laughs> there's uh, combat demonstrations, there's shopping, there's living history. Much like a renaissance fair, there's a lot of different things to do for whatever you feel like doing. There's food, lots of different types of food, oh, yeah. more than just haggis. Right? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> scotch egg. I've had a scotch egg before. It is friggin' delicious. And if you have never had one, do yourself a favor. Get a scotch egg somewhere. If you have never had haggis before, you're probably yeah. fine. <laughs> As someone who has tried haggis, you're probably okay. We did miss the caber toss and the... We got the little haggis, caber toss. Right? And the, ha and the haggis toss, which I think would have been amazing to watch. Uh, but we did see where they were going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And I feel like anyone invading Scotland will never be able to make them run out of ammunition. <laughs> There's they, rocks everywhere. Like, I feel like they, maybe they just didn't invest in a whole lot of weaponry and stuff. They just grabbed whatever was handy and learned how to toss it with incredible volatility at people. It's all the pent-up aggression. Right? At the English. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, if they if they could find the, the big enough rocks, I feel like they, they just would have sunk boats with that. <laughs> well done, Scotland. We're good at picking things up and putting them down over there. Right? <laughs> with with very scary grunts and yells. <laughs> That's it. Good times. <clears throat> You should go. You should if definitely If not this go. one, go to your own Highland Games. They're everywhere. <laughs> right? And if you like hearing about the things going on in these areas, Connecticut, New England in general, uh, our little adventures or in crafting or otherwise, give us a like, subscribe. You'll get to see a lot more of them. <laughs> There's a lot out there now. Our backlog is pretty intense at this point. Yeah, and now that we're uh, feeling better again, we'll be able to do more of the things. <laughs> Absolutely. So with that said, here's this guy. Uh, welcome to the Lance Connect Encampment at the Connecticut Renaissance Fair. Let's foster cake. Is that it? Yeah, let's foster cake. <laughs>